So there's this 5 a.m. call group where people call each other, and it's supposed to start your day at 5 a.m., which I start my day at 5 a.m., and it's supposed to encourage you to get up, get motivated, but to some people it does. I do not. I do not want a phone call at 5 a.m. because the second I wake up, I don't snooze. I don't have multiple alarms. I have one alarm. I get up, and I'm already motivated. The number one concept that I believe is extremely important is to have a group of very highly trained individuals that are trusted, have a ton of integrity that you can depend on when everything is going wrong. Hey, how's it going? Great news. The roof is already halfway completed. Sweet. Cool. So I just wanted to give you the good news and uh, awesome. we'll Thanks see you at... taking care of that. Oh, no problem. The cavalry group concept is a team-oriented business and we do that in every aspect of our life because everything resonates next to each other so if you work out as a team just like the team building that we did this morning where we encourage each other we push each other we strive for better PT is definitely the easiest most efficient way to build that team building mindset so the com camaraderie of the team is just amazing um, this is the first time that I've actually been able to be around everybody and talk to everybody and see what everybody's dream is with real estate uh, Trey definitely pushes us um, beyond our comfort zone and that's what I needed so I know with Trey uh, he's ultimately pushing us to be our own team, me and my wife, uh, and he's not afraid to help us get to that goal. And that, that's what I really like about him is he can he can look at us in the future and know that we're going to do great things and not be afraid to push us and not be afraid to set us free from the team whenever we do decide to make our own team. That's only the beginning. So workouts together, uh, breakfast, lunch, sometimes dinner. You know, being together and building each other up is the very best way to do any kind of business. I may be really good at something and then Denise's may be really good at something. Uh, Gary might be extremely good at something or I may be weak in one, one area. But that's where the team concept is. We pick that up and we, we move forward and, and we push up. So today we have a few objectives. Uh, the first one is we had a few meetings to do with the lenders to make sure that all our files are correct and the lenders have a, a great relationship with me because I know them by first name basis. I hang out with them outside of work just to build that team. So today we're meeting with uh, a family, Ariel and Jacob. They're closing on their very first house and they've been searching for a while. They didn't know the process. So uh, today we're gonna do the final walkthrough, which is we make sure that all the repairs have been met and all the conditions have been met. After that, we're gonna go directly to the title company. It's always best to do the final walkthrough before you actually close. So we're gonna do the final walkthrough, and then as soon as we're done with the final walkthrough, we're gonna to go to closing, and that's where they're gonna sign all the documents required by the lender, and they can get the keys to their house. I think a good place to start would be back in uh, Louisiana, my roots, growing up uh, in, the sh in the sugar fields and the bayous of South Louisiana. It's very rich in culture. Uh, I still even think these days it's like taking a step back in time. It was a wonderful place to grow up. I wanted to fly for the military, and I was right there in Coronado where the SEALs do all of their initial training. So in May of 1996, I showed up at BUDS, and in December I graduated. And then I spent the, the following 10 years on the East Coast, uh, on the East Coast SEAL teams, and had an absolute ball, and it was a pleasure to uh, roam the face of the earth with some of the coolest dudes on the planet. It was, it was really a, a humbling experience. <laughs> so I retired with 21 full years. We found a home in San Antonio with not only the San Antonio Police Department and all the friends that I've met there, but that led to, to the uh, introduction with Trey. And here we are now, a uh, very happy uh, part of the, the cavalry group is that I, I was looking for a group of individuals that I spoke the same language with, which we could, we could truly watch one another's backs, not only in business, but in our personal lives. Uh, all of the guys know, and I stole this from a book, radical transparency and radical honesty, honesty is a must. My parents always said, they said, boy, you have a natural 
ability. They said, just keep what you do, keep doing what you're doing. We we love to hear you play the piano, and we we don't want to see you give up that God-given talent. And even though it's something that I really enjoy doing, music is my springboard to the outside world. And as long as the good Lord, you know, keeps my hands intact, I'm gonna keep them on that piano, having fun with with my family and with the community. It, it makes me happy to do so. Yes, it was a great day. Um, actually, our group leader, Trey Serrano, he got the group together. We did a PT workout this morning um, at a cross fitness place. We worked out for about 20 minutes, and then we went and had breakfast. We accomplished some work there. Um, after that, we went to a closing, and then we had lunch, and then we followed that up with a final final walkthrough for a client and then from there continued with their closing so it was a very full very fulfilling day um, very super happy clients which is always fun to see but I just I love helping our clients it's so exciting to see them especially closing day because they just they can't wait to go get their stuff and move in and just start their new happy life Working with Trey Serrano and his Cavalry Realty Group has been great because we have so much support. Um, it seems like a <clears throat> really close family. We always have someone to reach out to if we're ever in a predicament. We try to show our clients up front or have a conversation with them up front and just let them know that we're going to walk them through this experience. They're not alone. Uh, we're going to make it as easy for them as we can as smooth as a process as we can and it's it takes about 30 days from when we find a house to when we close and sometimes that 30 days can be a tough 30 days but it goes by fast and 